Hi there everyone, welcome back to Infinity Drones. Today we can take a look at the DJI FPV drone in CE mode as well as in FCC mode. As you guys that have watched my last video, a link in the description below, would have known that you can put the DJI FPV drone into FCC mode by using the Beyond app or the website or you can use the drone hacks application where you can mod the drone to remove the no-fly zones, altitude limits, as well as permanently put it into FCC mode. Now, for those of you guys that are interested in drone hacks, I'll link a video in the description below to a complete walkthrough tutorial of how to do the entire mod. As for this video, we can take a look at the differences in range that I could achieve with the DJI FPV drone in CE mode versus FCC mode. Let's check out that intro. Now, since you cannot record the DVR of the DJI FPV drone while you're flying, I'm going to have to make a makeshift way of recording the DVR in the goggles while I'm flying the drone. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Insta360 GO 2. And what I'm going to do is, is I'm actually just going to put it straight in the goggles itself and record directly from the goggles. Now, it's not the best solution, but you will be able to see what I'm using and doing on the inside. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use some blue tack or what we call press stick and a little cloth because that Insta360 gets very hot and it's going to be pressing against your eye while you put it in the goggles itself. So in this case, you guys can see that little um, contact plate that gets very hot while the Insta360 is on. So I'm just going to put it straight in the goggles like that, put some blue tack on top and on below it, and then essentially press it against my face while the goggles are over my head. So as you can see here, the cloth is just going to fall double, put it over the Insta360 and yeah, essentially that's the way we're going to do it. So just grab some blue tack and put a few bits at the top, a few bits at the bottom just to make sure that the camera doesn't move. I already know where the focus is going to be. What you can do is just turn on your goggles while you do it and, you, and maybe connect the 360 to your phone so you can see the image on your device while you put it and position it in the actual goggles itself. So in my case, I know that's a great place to put it. And then that little cloth has to go over it because that gets, <laughs> like I said earlier, it gets very hot. So let's, uh, let's put it on and see how it works. As you can see, the image isn't perfect. In my Insta360 GO 2, I've also got stabilization enabled, which is going to cause the little wobbles as I move around in the goggles, as you guys can see. And back to the range test, as you can see, I'm taking off in the back of my yard, going straight ahead, uh, right across or above a really big tree in front of me that is going to block the signal. But luckily with the DJI FPV, it's got very, very good signal. I should still get some really good range now. Now, please note, this is CE mode. This is not FCC mode yet. This is stock 100% me standing in my yard on a little X pointing in the same direction to make sure that it's as consistent as I possibly can get it. But please know, guys, range tests are not about just, okay, well, range tests are about getting maximum distance. But for anyone doing a typical mod or trying to improve their antenna, it's almost always just because they want better signal. Now, for those of you guys that are gonna go like, oh, range test, that's bad or whatever, uh, I do agree with you, but I want to be able to fly behind trees or do freestyle and then not lose picture while I'm doing a freestyle trick or power loop or something like that. Now, the biggest thing is if you want confidence, you want a better picture. That's one of the biggest reasons people get DJI drones. So in this reason, I'm very much interested to see how far I can get and also what my signal quality is going to be. So as you guys can see, I think it's around about 800, 900 meters. I've lost signal and the drone is gonna go into return to home mode. I'm gonna quickly just skip this section and then switch over to the Beyond 3D app or uh, website. You can use by, uh, either or, in this case, I'm just gonna use the app. And then I'm gonna switch over to FCC mode. Now, just go to your app, plug the goggles um, into your phone via the USB OTG adapter, and you follow the steps in the app itself. It is really self-explanatory, very easy to do and you just essentially follow the steps. It's literally click, click, and next. So once it scans for your goggles, it's going to detect it. Once it's detected it, it's going to ask you to proceed to actually power up all the items. And in this case, you can see, there we go. It's just sending through the information to the actual goggles itself. So once it's done the unlock, it's going to send through the command or the file, and that's it. That is literally how easy it is. 
So once the section is done, we're going to quickly switch over to the last part of the range test where I actually fly in FCC mode and let's see how far I can get. Now I'm going to try and keep the, the way that I flew almost identical. Luckily this little line of open field in front of me is going to make it a bit easier. But the whole idea is, is that now you've got FCC mode enabled, which is a lot more power being sent through. Now please note, FCC mode isn't like a silver bullet. It's not going to give you unlimited range. Yes, a 25 milliwatt versus 700 milliwatt or versus one milli um, one watt. Um, it's it's basically relevant. There's, there's a lot of physics going on there. So essentially, 25 milliwatt versus a thousand milliwatt is not going to mean that the a thousand milliwatt is going to give you a hell of a lot more range. It essentially is just more output and it's diminishing returns, the more output you're going to get. But it still means you do get better signal and if you do we'll, we'll get more range. So in this scenario, we are already at, I think, six, 700 meters. So we're almost getting close to where we lost signal the first time. And I think around about here, we lost signal. We got our first warning, but we still got good signal. I'm standing on exactly the same spot, the same place in the, the yard, as you can see when I took off, the drone was right in front, in front of the tennis ball and oh, we're still going. So um, we're just about to reach about I think, a thousand meters. So yeah, then we just crossed it where we couldn't do that previously. Now, this is not the first time I've tried this. This is, uh, if I flew a fly over here, this is consistently the range that I'm getting with this drone and this mod. So if I've got CE mode, I typically get about six, 700 meters. And if I'm in FCC mode, I typically end up where this one's gonna max out now, I think around about 1.3 kilometers. So uh, remember, if that tree wasn't in front of me, I probably would have had better range, but this is it. In the end, this is what we want. We wanna see an actual difference between FCC mode and CE mode, and you guys can see there's a clear difference. Is it a silver bullet? No. Does it improve your range? Definitely. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, if you've got any questions, please post comments below. Please consider subscribe. It really helps out the channel.